All right, I'm jumping back into the messenger. Uh, I'm at a particularly difficult part. I've forgotten how to play this game. Uh, so I'm not very good at it. And this is actually a particularly punishing sequence without a lot of checkpoints. So, originally I kind of thought I might give up. Uh, Cloudcraft is egging me on though to keep playing and see more of the game. So good. This is not the hard part. This is the part that's tedious if I've played it a million times recently. Oh. and how they like, they tell you where they're teleporting to before they finish teleporting there so that you can really plan your attack and hit them before they get a chance to hit you. So plug up and remind me that I can slash projectiles now, which actually should make it easier for you to get by from these guys. Oh, ow, ow, not what I meant to have happen. But... So this is what happens to me. <laughs> and now this guy's gonna be stealing all my money. There was a lantern that I could have used the cloud staff uh, of that pit. I just don't think that fast. Uh, I remember I did get to a point in Celeste where I, I did feel like I was thinking fast enough to actually use my abilities at the right time with the trigger of warning. But I am not there yet with this game. Folks are telling me I need to turn down the game sound. Is that a little better, guys? Alright. Alright, I actually got through that without killing myself, which is pretty rare. Made it through here, but ah! Ow! Ah! No! Stop dying! Big stupid! All right, I sort of made it through there. Ah! What a! I think this is the farthest I've actually gotten in this section. Oh, look at that! Yes! Finally, saved. Let's go in here. Talk to this guy. Hey, guy. Need anything? Let's chat. What do you want to chat about? I believe you've reached a necromancer's doorstep. Any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice. Dodging anything that looks like evil magic would be a good start. Wow, great help. 
Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. Look, the Necromancer's a newcomer. All we know for sure, for now is that he plans on taking over the world with his undead army. All we know? Sorry I meant I. All I know. I'm totally on my own here. <laughs> what do you want to chat about? Looks like we're good. Okay, what can I afford? Each of these is 200. Enemy sometimes drop a globe that one hit point. Ooh, that seems valuable. Underwater dash. Reduce quarrels fine for saving life by 50%. Okay, well, for now, we have this one and this one, and I'll grab this one very soon. Oh. Oh, oh, crap. Crowdcraft just told me that this is what I wanted to buy. It's too late. I can't undo it. Ah! Okay. I'll, hopefully, hopefully I'll get another chance to come back. Oh, oh, well, here we are. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Teddy Ruxton? What now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. But he seems to have time for you. Oh great, just when you think you get to play with all your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing, watch this. What? what? <clears throat> Who dares into my lair? <laughs> uh oh, is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard! Face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great! Okay, let's. Ah, uh, okay. Let's dodge this. He said dodge. I'm assuming that means I can't hit it. Oh! Ow! Oh. Okay. I am up here now. Oh. Oh! Oh! Come on. What do you do? Ah! Uh, no! Ow! How do I... Oh, of course I need to get under the thing. What am I thinking? Ah! I'm just... I'm the worst at this. So he's reporting how much stuff of mine he steals. That's great. So how, okay. Oh, Cloudcraft points out that I don't actually need to time it perfectly. I can just spam my slashes. Good to know. Oh, guess not at very close range. Oh look, I'm intelligent this time. Oh, no, 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 get away from me. Oh, I can't touch him, interesting. Nope, nope. Ah, I keep touching him by accident. Nope, 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 ah! No! Get away from me.
Okay, I did it. He started red flashing pretty early. <laughs> I thought he was closer to death. I yield. Wait, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous! I'm sticking to evil! Oh yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying it? Well... I could... That... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. <laughs> well, that is just uplifting. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I did try to murder him for no reason. Bamboo Creek! Alright, oh, hey, I get my health back. That's cool. And there's little wormy guys. Hey, little wormy guys. Hmm. Well! Oh, did I need to actually hit that falling coconut? Oh my gosh. By the way, instant deaths in a game with a death penalty? Pretty harsh. Oh, okay, I timed that wrong. So every time I time this wrong, it's gonna be a disaster. And I'm gonna have this guy following me. That seems... Maybe I'm just doing fundamentally the wrong thing. Because I can't imagine they would think it was a... Oh, okay. oh, I can make that from above. Okay. I'm gonna hit this little demon guy. Water wasn't deadly. Oh, I hit that. Okay, gotcha. Oh my gosh, what? W what? Okay. I'm starting to get frustrated. <laughs> monsters we can. Ah, oh, sheesh. So Cloudgrove said he didn't even know that doors killed you. Apparently that's never happened to him before. Okay, now it's time to buy the underwater dash. There we go. Bamboo Creek! That must be a sight for sore eyes after you're trekking the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is just as close to a day off as you'll get in this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. 
<laughs> I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. What do you want to chat about? What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touchy identified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we've been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I mean, the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. <laughs> what do you want to chat about? Do you have any stories to share? Of course I do, but now's not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sunny as it gets in this here cursed world. So? So I suggest you take an opportunity to play outside. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> All right, that's great. Yeah, so, like, this game keeps annoying me by, like, killing me in terrible ways, but then eventually it kind of wins me back over by being clever. I assume I can't go through this wall. Yeah. Ow! Oh, I'm flowing this direction. I can't believe that worked. I kind of expected to just die right there. Forgetting that I can't attack downwards. Like, there's so many other games that I've played, like Hollow Knight and Shovel Knight. All the knights, basically. Made me feel like I should be able to uh, attack downwards at enemies. Ah! So I'm betting they didn't plan for doors crushing you to actually be a major hazard in this game. I think they probably at some point got a bug that said, hey, bad thing happens when when the player, uh, oh, what, how is this supposed to work? The bad thing happens when a uh, door closes and either an exploit or something else, was, probably something bad was happening when the player, uh, walked, like, was in the wrong spot walking through the door. So they probably had to make it kill the player just... just to solve the problem. Okay, so... I'm imagining that maybe this is the thing I need to do? That doesn't help me with this. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was really hard. I mean, I did it on my third try, but still. Oh my gosh! Uh, still harder than I... Harder than I was hoping it would be. Oh wait, I got these. All right, here we go. What is up with these gargoyle heads? What are you? Oh, I have to engage him in. Ow! Okay, in melee? Ah! You're an obnoxious mini-boss! What if I don't want to fight you? Yeah, I don't want to fight him. Ow! Ow! Hey, I didn't even mean to go up here. What? What is... What are you?! Oh, I hit his vulnerable spot by accident last time. Oh, look! What? Oh, what's this? Some kind of secret! No, wait. Is it not some kind of secret? 
I thought this this looks like a secret. Ah, oh, I'm disappointed. So Cloudcraft is uh Cloudcraft is suggesting that uh, I could put slash on the right bumper, which is making me it easier for me to execute jump slashes. Except that I'm so used to slashing on um, on X that I think actually just for me with my habits that would actually be really hard. All right, so looks like this is not a thing I can do yet. Whatever this is. Anyway... Man, this music is aggressively enthusiastic. Need anything? Nope, looks like not. I need to, yeah, I need to get much higher. All right. Nope, not that. This. Ah, what the? Okay, I misunderstood. I thought that I could actually get through that part of the level. Something that, uh... I read something... as a pathway when it was actually an obstacle. But, managed to survive st still, sort of. Oh man, they got their weak spots in different places. That'd be an interesting species to belong to, you know, to each member of the species has its groin in a different place. At least I assume that's where I'm hitting those Rose monsters. I mean, what else could it be? This whole thing where you just hit switches repeatedly in order to make them work is interesting. It took me a while to even figure out that's how it works. <gasps> Checkpoint. I wonder how they decided which uh, checkpoints were going to have doorways and which ones weren't. Ow! No! Stop that. Ah! Oh, 
Well, now Bilbo's raised the question of whether plants have groins. Or if it can have a groin. I mean, I don't know. I've definitely seen some trees that look like they had groins. moments of serendipity where you just sort of accidentally do the right thing are pretty nice. <laughs> There's so many places in this game where you don't have to do Cloud Step, but it just feels good to do it anyway. Like right there. Oh, the sequence of the game is just so random. Crap coming off the screen, things hitting me from random places. Oh, elevator fight. Ow. guys by accident. Ow! No! Get off! How oh, what's this dude? Whew! Okay, okay. Yes. I'm I collected so much money. Let's see if I can spend any of it yet. Need anything? Oh, level boss. So I guess the boss is up next? A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know, perfectly centered gate, symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I thought. <laughs> Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them, but I believe I told you this place is like your day off. So, well, would you find a boss on your day off? Exactly. What do you want to chat about? Okay, so usually game designers will they'll impose a structure on, 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 on a game like this, like assuming there has to be a boss in every level, and will not question it. So if there really is not a boss in this level, and they just did this one level, and then they're just commenting on it, like, that's great. And, and it's, it's, it's actually more impressive than some of the other, like, you know, I mean, every game thinks it needs to have, like, innovations in the combat system and stuff like that. But lo a lot of times you just take structural things like bosses at the end of levels for granted. So I really hope there's no boss. That'd be great. Uh, do do? Oh, shurikens pierce. Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, all right. Cool. Deposit at the river bank is the name of the achievement I just got for doing that. So if you get all of the, I imagine that's for getting all of the coins on the way down the river. I mean, the way down the uh, the waterfall. This really looks like a boss area. <laughs> that even looked like a boss area. <laughs> all right, now where are we? What's this place like? Hey, bats again. What the? Oh. So what is this place? I fell in a pit. That you did. That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. Some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Press and hold A while airborne to glide. Deploy over geysers to fly upwards. Okay, again, Cloudcraft. I have to thank you for making me play this game. I was gonna quit. But you kept haranguing me. 
and I came back and I got to smile like this today. So, uh, thank you for the Christmas present, Cloudcraft. Uh, so current area. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gliding time! Well, that wingsuit I gave you. Yeah? Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I mean to say, something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. <laughs> ah! You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly. You'd rather stay here and chat? So, like, he's hitting on, like, one of the most common problems that I run into writing dialogue um, for video games is exactly that. It's like, sometimes you don't know if the player has done X or not. And you have to write a line that seems like it's acknowledging X if X did happen, but feels irrelevant if X doesn't happen. And it's one of the most artful things you have to do as a game designer, and no one ever notices or appreciates it. So I feel so good that that guy gets it. That guy knows what's going on. Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing holding A while airborne. Why was it free and not like the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean, you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. Any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extreme, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. Is this the thing that it, it always says, this too shall pass or something? It worked like a literal charm and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard promptly grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? Any guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa, that's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey now, don't push it. What do you want to chat about? Eh, nothing. Getting buzzed. Oh, interesting. Just gotta check my phone sometimes. Okay, here we go. So, I got a wingsuit. Wee! Alright. Wee! Alright. Ah! Ah! Oh, I missed one. Ah! Ah! Okay. It's interesting how the, the, the skeletons they activate based on proximity, but they speed up based on your Y position. So it's just like two completely, it's like two things you can do that are orthogonal to each other that affect the skeleton's behavior. What the, oh, that, that was going on, okay. Just die, bat. All right. Oh, oh! Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no. Ow. Ah, so the wingsuit is not happening all of a sudden. Okay. All right. 
So apparently it's possible to think I've done the thing I need to do to make the wingsuit work and have it not quite work sometimes. Let's try to get the uh, stuff I missed. This might kill me. Oh, there we go. Yep, that did, in fact, kill me. So I'm not exactly sure what the rules are for the wingsuit and... and Cloud Step. <laughs> so it looks like when I hit something, I have to first deal with the Cloud Step, and then afterwards, make gliding happen. was doing better health-wise than that. I did not check the upgrades again after I got the wingsuit cloudcraft. Let's go do that. Oh, okay. Let's, oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Wingsuit attack. Press X while gliding with wingsuit to attack downwards. Excellent. that thing hit me. Lots of help. Ah, that was not what I thought would happen. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, that was real close to perfect, and I will just take it. I'm not going to try to navigate that again. I only missed one thing. These things keep rattling around. Ow! Get off me. Checkpoint. Good. I guess I can't open those doors. This looks like maybe that's a secret down there, but I don't think there's a way to open it, so never mind. health thing over here. Mm. 
is pretty intense. Like, I'll, I'll be, like, silent sometimes because I'm just sort of, like, focused on what I'm trying to do. Ah, okay, that wasn't what I wanted. Nope. How do I even... Thank you for putting the easiest enemy at the end. Oh, man. Ah, I'm so close to touching all the spikes! Yes! Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, fine. to use that projectile to jump to cloud step with, but it did not quite work. Ah, what the? Okay, so how do I attack? Okay, next time I go to the upgrade place, I need to figure out how I do the downward attack, because I felt like I was doing the thing to trigger it, but maybe not. Upgrades. What am I doing wrong? Press X while gliding with suit to attack downwards. I thought I had a wild gliding. I have to have both held at the same time. That's what I was doing. All right, cool. What's in here again? What's the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. Oh. Okay. I forgot what that was. Whatever. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm doing. This stupid thing. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, I love that the music changes when you go underwater. No matter how frequently you go in and out of the water. I do like the fact that this game lets you accurately assume that anything you hit will, will, will very likely be destructible. There's a lot of games where it's just sort of a toss-up, but it feels like, you know, once once you unlock the ability to destroy projectiles, like, you can kind of assume that most of the things are destructible. So one thing that's weird is that I remember there was one place in one of the earlier levels where, or one of the earlier areas or whatever, where I actually had to jump downward. Uh, to, I had to go downward to leave the current screen. And I realized, why did I even think that was a possibility? I mean, this game has got instant death drops in it. It seems like I should assume that any like, any way to leave a stage downwards is gonna get me killed. Like, I keep seeing, like, downward, what, what, what might be downward exits in this game. Oh, what the? 
keep seeing what feel like downward exits in this game that I can't tell if I think it's an exit or if I think it's a uh, a killing pit. So I usually I, mean, I don't jump in them because I'm assuming they're all killing pits, but I just realized that's not actually necessarily an accurate assumption. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, stop, stop. Why am I? No, I don't want to be here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm. Uh, oh, wait, no, I'm not really stuck. I'm just stuck ish. I know that's a place I want to be. Thank you. Money, 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 money. See, and again, I love the fact that this game, uh, that I know I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose that currency. Like, I've collected a bunch of currency, and I'm not going to lose that to dying. Like, if I die, future currency that I haven't gotten yet might be taken by that little demon guy. But, not the currency I've already got. Bilbo, and Merry Christmas to you, too. You've got to be able to afford something now, right? Need anything? Level boss! I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Who? I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three questions rule? And at four now, what do you want to chat about? Okay. Help, help plus one. Conceal the chainmail chest piece. Makes you more resistant. And that will unlock. Checkpoints will restore hit points to five and refill all the key charges. Oh, cool. Oh, incoming damage to two or more now will be reduced by one. Okay, cool. Well, let's grab this one for now. All right, let's see what this is. Okay. Okay, so I have just enough time to run under that, I imagine. Oh. How do I... Okay. I did not understand my situation. Ah! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so being there when... Ow! Whoops. When the crystal... Okay. Well, great. So being there when those crystals pop up is bad. I want to hit him a bunch of times and not just wait until he naturally goes away. I need to get away first. And now I start with less health. Well, that sucks.
I actually don't know how I'm supposed to do this without maximum health. I kept, I kept hitting things. So Cloudcraft says heal yourself. What do you mean? What options do I have for healing myself? Here we go. Oh, is there a lantern I didn't see? Gosh. Ah, what the? Ah! Okay. Good to know. that when like oh oh ah ah uh, i thought it was lifting up but i was gonna run underneath it okay you know what i did not notice that it has lanterns there so that is the solution to my health being crappy okay yeah 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 threaten me all you want Almost walked straight into the other wall. I mean, the other fist or whatever. Just avoid that. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. That seems impossible. You saw I moved immediately as soon as that thing lifted up and it still caught me. But it, I don't think that move happened the previous time I played, so. Ah, uh, let's see. fast to this guy. Like, you can't hesitate at all when you see something like that coming. 
I have to go for it. He's doing that one a lot, isn't he? Dang. He's really protecting himself. There we go. Dang it. This one. I thought maybe that was one where I had to run underneath, but nope, that was one where I had to get into a little dance rhythm with them. Nope, nope, nope. gonna die if I stop wingsuiting? What the? Is this still happening? Oh, okay. Interesting. Jerk. I seriously think it starts flashing red like a third of the way into its health bar. Whew, like, thanks for destroying my golem? Uh, well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries and you just randomly engaged. <laughs> no way! Way! No way! You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry. I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll adjust the wind for you. Good luck for your, on your quest. Oh, man. This game is hilarious. Oh, look at that face. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. That's... That's enough. I can't... <laughs> I gotta go do something else, but... Uh, okay. Thanks again, Cloudcraft, for making me do that. This game is really cool. I might have to play it all the way through.